Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother asked her to take a basket of goodies to her sick grandmother, who lived on the other side of the forest. Red Riding Hood eagerly agreed and set out on her journey. Don't talk to strangers and don't take the long route either, dear. Her mother warned Red Riding Hood, but Red Riding Hood was already out the door. As she walked through the forest, she met a wolf. The wolf asked her where she was going. Now Red Riding Hood had not listened to her mother's warning. She told the wolf that she was going to her grandmother's house. The wolf had a wicked plan in mind. He convinced Red Riding Hood to take the longer route. There are beautiful flowers and amazing views, he said. I always take that route too, he added. Red Riding Hood liked the wolf's idea. She agreed to take the longer route. She would also collect some flowers to cheer up her grandmother. But the wicked wolf took the shortcut. He wanted to get to the grandmother's house before Red Riding Hood. He planned to eat both of the grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood. When the wolf reached grandmother's house, he saw her laying on the bed. He went to the front door and knocked. Who is it, dear? answered grandmother. It's me, Red Riding Hood. I brought you some goodies, the wolf replied in Red Riding Hood's voice. Oh dear, you sound awful. Are you sick? Well, the door is unlocked. Come straight in, the grandmother replied. The wolf wasted no time. He went straight to the bedroom and swallowed the grandmother alive. Soon after, Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's house. The wolf had already disguised himself as the grandmother and was waiting for her. Red Riding Hood knocked on the door and waited. Who is it, dear? answered the wolf in Grandma's voice. It's me, Red Riding Hood. I brought you some goodies. You must be really sick, Grandmother. You sound awful, Red Riding Hood replied. Yes, dear, I'm pretty sick. Well, the door is unlocked. Come straight in, the wolf said. Red Riding Hood didn't suspect anything. She went straight into the bedroom. As she came close to Grandmother's bed, the wolf pounced on her and swallowed her alive. Luckily, just then, a hunter was passing by the house. The hunter saw the wolf from the bedroom window. The hunter knew the wolf was wicked. He ran into the house straight to Grandmother's bedroom. The wolf, too full from his lunch, was trying to keep the meals inside his belly. But the hunter swiftly cut open the wolf's belly, freeing Red Riding Hood and her grandmother, who had been swallowed whole. Red Riding Hood and her grandmother were happy to be alive. They thanked the hunter for saving them from the wolf. Red Riding Hood learned never to trust strangers again. She would pay attention to her mother's warnings. Never share your plans with strangers or those who do not need to know, the hunter added. Red Riding Hood and her grandmother shared the goodies with the hunter. The hunter took the dead wolf with him. He knew that many animals would be happy to see the wicked wolf gone from the forest. <laughs>